lap like they do in track and field for the sprint to the finish. But you're starting to eye it, aren't you? You got to pile up those wins, put them in the left-hand column, not the L's in the right-hand column. Now the first carry for Devin Singletary. Oh, he's got a little daylight. There he goes, right side. And all the way down to the 29. 51 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. Well, welcome to the party. First carry of the game. How about that? And just think, as far as he's concerned, he's just getting warmed up. Changes things in a big way. Now from all the way down to inside the 30, here's first and 10. Here's Singletary. Shoves him aside. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 10 yards, good enough for a Buffalo first down. Now look, that wasn't a huge game, but those are the types of carries I think they were missing in their loss last week. They couldn't get him going on the ground. Did you get the same feeling I did during our meetings that they kind of regretted that he didn't touch that? Absolutely. You know, hey, he should have touched him more last week. They weren't going to make that same mistake. They've taken care of that early. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. A rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Devin McCourty puts it on. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And yeah, they are trying to create some separation within the division. And look, CD, I know that this is still the first half of the season. But this is a big matchup no matter where it falls because these are the top two teams right now in that division. And if you can build a bit of a cushion as you head towards the second part of the season, that allows you to survive the expected injuries, potential upset losses, all of those things, and still be in good shape. got a yard. Here's second and nine. Allen. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly. Oh, Allen cannot get away, and down he goes. Dante Hightower. Looking to throw. Jones. He completes it to Henry. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 23. 11 more yards there, and this methodical drive continues. Well, a lot of times when you get a manageable third down situation like this, you have to think about your tight end, and he comes through for him, picking up the first down. about where you're going to go with the football. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Henry.
again he'll drop to throw. There's Henry. Touchdown Patriots. Hunter Henry with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Pats go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. The Bills on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This is third and eight. This is a draw play. Allen gives to Singletary. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Forced out to his left. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. And that last penalty makes this third down play a little more interesting. Third and five. Allen now looks to throw. And he's got his man here. It's a gain of five on the play, and it'll be second down. All defenses. Minimal game. Throwing again on second down. Allen, the hook up on the right side to Hopkins. What a methodical drive this is turning out to be. That time, nine yards, and the sticks move again. And that's now four completions in a row. A good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going. And he's going to be dropped. Back at the 15-yard line, Kyle Van Noy able to record his fifth sack of the season. Whistles now in a timeout defensively. So a wise move as they'll use the first of their timeouts to force one more play before the two-minute warning. Still 15 yards to go, second down. Another try after the first down sack. happening on the return is he'll get this to about the 23. And the Patriot offense back out getting set to go. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. to board and past the 40 before he's out of bounds now it looks like we've got a patriot down slow to get up we'll check on his status when we return to orchard park <laughs> We saw a number of good games earlier today. This one might top all of those. It's been a dandy as we come up on first and ten. Jones. Being chased out left. This one, this time 18 more and a first down. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down.
following the pickup of four here second and six from the gun it's Stevenson and they'll bring him down at the 13 yard line and the Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go Gun. They run with Michelle. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. All right, my man, this is now where it's risk reward. Because on defense, you've got to crowd the line of script, but you've got to get in all the gaps, get up tight on everyone, and try to force the field. And here's another kneel down as he'll try to set up the game winner. Timeout will be called, so they're in field goal range with three seconds left. And the 14-year trustee veteran able to knock it through. And 